All right, welcome to week four of season five of the Sully Nation League. In this matchup, we have the dogs sponsored by Ashes Bake Shop versus La Familia, sponsored by We Buy Oz. But anywho, this is the 100th Sully Nation game. It's going to be a special one, a rematch against the last two finals games. And the dogs really need a win here. If not, they could drop to 0 and 4. We would hate to see that for the psyche of the dogs on this one. <laughs> Three time, back to back to back, defending champions. And you'd hate to see them drop to 0 and 4 in the 100th game of the history of the regular season of Sally Nation basketball. Especially being the defending champ. You can see La Familia. They came out in their alternate uniforms. That was a good take by Chef. Mike on my crime. It's the worst kind. Horace <laughs> passes it to Braylon. But Braylon got, oh, oh man, the ball's going back and forth here. Ball's everywhere. Stolen right again by Chef. Chef finds Donnie McLovin, but couldn't get it in. A little too hot on that take. Goes out of bounds. It's not something you see often. AJ usually completes that play. To see him lose the ball clean, that might be a, a first for this league. I think it was just going into too, too much momentum. But this Mike on Mike crime is crazy. Mike. I have inside sources within the blue team, the dogs. That state, this is the most motivated Mike franchise Scalco has ever been to win a game in the history of the league. He's used to winning. He is used to being the one that walks away on top, but this has not been the season for the Yogs so far. And if he drops to 0-4, a disaster might ensue on this one. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna look to try to make this a very physical, very ugly game here early. Yep. They got to. They're gonna, they're gonna try to muck it up, try to get the other team down to your level on that one. You see exactly. Braylon was driving, looking for a foul, did not get it. Nope, you gotta make it into a dog fight. Ha. I see what you did there. <laughs> La Familia loses the ball again. Donnie McLovin with the sweet finish of the day, brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. It doesn't matter who's in the paint, he's going inside. Years past, AJ would throw this ball off the bottom of the front of the rim to try to get it back. Let's see if he just tries to make a normal free throw here. <laughs> It happened every year, like four years in a row. Like nobody picked up on it except for like one team. Did he get it? Was it successful every time? Almost every single time. <laughs> might be just a strategy of his that might work. Good. Oh, good three-point shot by Tony. Said the bank Coach is open Tony. on a Sunday. Not sure which bank he uses. Probably a credit union. He seems like a credit union guy. I'm a credit union guy. You seem like a credit union guy. <laughs> Good pass. Pat Klein couldn't hit that one. Excellent hustle from the captain, Mike Scalco. Not the biggest guy on the court, but because of that hustle tip-out play, his team got two more points. And you always want more points. Of course. That's the goal. Yes. There you go. Mike on Mike. Great pass from Tone. Oh, he That's... goes up and down with it. But they didn't call nothing. And the play continues. Chef going up with it. Gets a sweet finish. Brought to you by Ashes Bacon. The dogs are just attacking right now. The dogs are barking. <laughs> this is the kind of game where, uh, as you were going to say, Braylon might take over. Bradley with that take was basically saying they got all bark, no bite. I think in most games that Braylon plays, he's the best player on the court. I don't think that's an exception in this game right here. So if you're the dogs and you want your first win of the season, you got to keep him at bay. Braylon last game had 19 points to see if he could duplicate what he did last game. Oh, he's had plenty of high scoring games in Selling Nation. Oh, 
Perry going up with it. Gets it through. That's how, that, that's how they got to play, too. Inside, strong. Uh-oh. Especially the dogs are missing their center. You know, you got to get into the paint if you want to beat them. Exactly. Instead, the dogs are playing from down low. Well, Aaron is doing a really good job of getting under the rim like that. Braylon taking it all the way in. Gets a good unfriendly box out. bounce. Yeah. He's looking for the call. The entire court is in front of him right now. AJ gets the point. Oh my goodness. That's soaring through the air. This season, too, the issue with the dogs hasn't been getting a lead. It's been about keeping it later in the game. That has been the issue. Yeah. They need to learn how to just close it up, how to just maintain that lead and not do mistakes like that. Tone with a good pass. Mike can't finish. That's the brick of the day on an open lane. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Really nice attempt at a pass down low by AJ. Pat Fine Chef. Good ball movement by the dogs. AJ passes it up. Barry can't hit on the three-point line. But the rebound by Chef. Puts it in. Look at the hustle out here by the dog. Yeah, and look, there goes Mike. That's how you get your team amped up right there. Uh-oh, there's some talking going on here. Is it about buying houses? Because we buy houses and mobile homes, any type and any condition. No equity, no problem. We work fast, use cash, and no nonsense. Up to $1,000 if you refer a home that goes to closing. To speak to Josiah Kenyon, give him a call at 407-735-6228. The talking that was going on is it looks like uh, Pat was saying somebody was too small. Yeah, he was definitely staring somebody at somebody. Somebody was too him. small over there. And my question is, too small for what? <laughs> I'm guessing a garden. A roller coaster? <laughs> AJ last game had six points, and he's already starting off hot here, looking to get that one back. AJ did come up for just for the second half of last game. Oh, he so did. It, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Got called last minute to work, so he made the best with what he had in the schedule, and that was uh, it. Resulted in a six-point second half, which is nothing to sneeze at. Well, I'm glad you guys cleared that up for me because it did look a little bit odd. That was a good putback. Uh, but that was a little bit odd that I saw him on score six. I'm like, dude, this guy is a scoring machine. He is. Historically, he's always, always, always been able to score the ball. The one thing I will say is, uh, much like Ish when we talked about it in the previous game, right. every time AJ takes a jump shot, it's a gift to the defensive team. It is. It's not that he... Look at Tone. Look at Tone with a three-point shot. It's not that AJ can't shoot, but he is so much more effective when he goes towards the rim. Mm -hmm. He's either going to make the bucket or... The bucket? <laughs> he's either going to make the basket or he's going to draw a foul. Sorry, I've been doing that all day today. But, no, you do have a point. Look at the hustle from Money, Money Mitch, Mitch over That's there. another guy they got to get involved. Money Mitch. I saw him hit like three threes in a row. Going crazy. I think it was either game one or the scrimmage games. It was a scrimmage game. I have his uh, his signed jersey framed in my closet currently. That was a good three point Just in case he course. blows up one day. La Familia cuts this to a one point game, and now we got some subs coming in for the next dead ball. Money Mitch. Wasn't money on that play. It's all right. That's his first shot attempt. Oh, Coach Tone with another three-point shot. Can't hit it there. Chef with the ball. Nice hesitation dribble. I'm still scared. Even though he misses that, I still don't want to leave him. So far, he has not been money. He has not been. 
Braylon is, though. Oh, he's calling for a sub for himself now. He might be a little self-loathing on that one. I don't know if you have to sub yourself out for it, but right, he's, right. uh, you know. You know, corner shots, corner shots. Technically, that's supposed to be the easier shot. It's the, it's the closest, or it's the shortest three-point shot you got there. But it's also hard. You have nothing to aim at. You're just looking at the basket. So I wouldn't be too down. You know, those are harder shots to hit. And the saying is, shooter shoot. Exactly. Hustle play by Good the captain. Good hustle play by Mike. Yeah, he's not losing today. <laughs> Good so. I think I've known Mike Scalco since before he had teen in his age. And... No matter what, when he was playing basketball, he was always the first one back leaking out on that. So to this day, five seasons into the Sony Nation, it still surprises me that people don't realize he will be the first one down the court. He's got that one. Uh -oh. I think it's just it's so unassuming. He gets down there so quick without anybody looking at him. He's sneaky with it almost. I still believe in you, Mitch. Keep shooting. We got subs coming in. Whole ball, whole ball. Money Mitch coming out, Barry coming in, and Franchise coming in as well. Mike is coming out. Switches on both teams. I'm curious to see as to what this offense looks like with Franchise out of the game here. Oh, I guess that's what it looks like. I was going to say he was the one guy getting back and forcing the issue, but if you're going to hit jump shots now, then that'll help. Nice three-point play. Oh, that was a nice little move. Oh, good defense. Good rebound by Chef. Mike. Oh, he's getting double teamed. Dude, Mike is so fast. He has like that fast, that fast uh, muscle twitch. But they couldn't finish there. Good defense by Mike though. Yeah. Dogs want a timeout. Getting a little over their skis on this I'm one. I have to use the last names for the night. So Mike Parker. I'm gonna call him Parker. Is there another partner on this team? No, we're good. Well, during this time out, it might be good for us to tell you about One Hop to Shop. One Hop to Shop is the official home of all Selling Nation League merchandise. This week, they had the first drop of their official Season 5 CNL merch with hoodies, t-shirts, and long sleeves. Contact at Selling Nation League on Instagram to place your order today. Today. I read. <laughs> I read. I done read good. I can struggle sometimes. So, 10 minutes into this game, the Dogs have a six-point lead. And again, that hasn't been their issue the whole year. They've been able to build leads in this game. The question is, what happens when the game is closed at the end? Because this year, they've been uncharacteristically bad at closing games. Yeah, it's definitely a shock, especially when I went back and watched a couple of their games from last season. Yeah, I don't know, but, but a, a lot of the games were close. So, I'm not going to hold it to him. Sometimes you'll just have that bad start. But it's not too late. But it, it, it needs to end here today. Yes. Because there are 10 games in the regular season. But if you go 0-4, the season's over at that right. point. That's, that's say what you like. That's the way it works. Well, technically, they were talking about on the podcast is that if this were the old season, it, it would have basically started by, I think, this week. Right? If I'm not mistaken. This week or next week. Something along those lines. So gets, they still have time. It gets late early, if that makes sense. It you does. Know, it does. You fall too far behind, it's a hard hole to climb out of. For sure. Quick update, if any of you care how Mike Ingersoll is doing. They're doing actually excellent. Finding out he and his lady friend are actually having people over for the Super Bowl tonight. So we hope that's a great time. Mike, hope you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> oh, that was a poke in the eye. I saw it clear as day. I asked him if he'll be ready for next season, but, you know, he's a working man. He's very busy on his schedule. It, we'll see if we can lure him back in for season six. That'd be good. He's one of the premier players, one of the premier talents. Right. See how he could do here in this league. Oh, oh good steal by AJ down to Mike, who makes it in. Up to an eight-point lead for the Dogs now. Mike Parker with the ball. Defended by Mike Scalco, who did a good job on that. Chef finds AJ, slips out of his hand. 
Now Mike Parker looking for Braylon. That's the sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop to go along with the assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. You might have said, was that a sweet potato? No, it was a yam. Wow. I'm a big fan of dunks. I'm sorry, especially alleys. But here's the issue. That was a really cool alley dunk. The dogs came right back and answered. Two points on each side. That's, you know. Right, it's going to make me scream all day, but it's not going to do nothing to the scoreboard. Exactly. That's, it was a net net zero. Mike Parker looking for the open man. Finds Braylon. Braylon Pickens. He could oh, jump. He's feeling it. He could jump. Oh, yeah, he has hops. I heard him on the uh, the Selly Takes podcast this week. Mm -hmm. Excellent basketball mind, too. Right. You hear just the way he logics the game. He's one of the few guys who get it. You got a bunch of guys who could play but don't think the game, and then a bunch of guys who could think the game but can't play. He could do a little bit of both. Right, yeah. He, yeah. he has very high IQ. Yeah. We got a defensive three in the key here. Off on that one, but it's it's a tough shot. Even though it's a free throw, you're it the only one standing shot. there. There's the nobody in the paint. In the, it's, yeah, exactly. It's a lot easier than it looks. Never good walking down the court, wondering if you got blocked or not. But. Oh. On the other side, miscommunication. They're not paying attention. Yeah, there's a little gamesmanship right now going on between AJ and Braylon. Two of the premier players in the league, both asking for fouls, both saying why they're not fouling. Chef going up with it. Oh, Pat Klein, that was a smart decision. Go ahead and Big pull that. three-pointer. Oh, man, good dribble. Man. Oh, man. They didn't call the travel. That's a three-point shot there. So they did. And it's good. They didn't call the travel, but you can't do anything about it once it's not called. You saw AJ just start walking yeah, it, away from it, and his guy hit the three-pointer. Oh! Hack, fine. Oh, yeah. The competitiveness has showed up. Good move. And there's Pat, future co-workers with Parker Landis. Two three-pointers and Kyle King. Man, they're playing very physical this game. Yep, and you got a very physical. An eight-point lead for the dogs right now. So Ken La Familia, seven points now. Cut into it a little bit. You know, there's four and a half minutes left in the first half. There's still plenty of time to make this a game, but I alluded to this earlier. If you're going to wear alternate jerseys, you better come out and play like you're a team that should be wearing alternate jerseys. It takes a certain level of swagger. To Haven't seen that, it yeah. yet. <laughs> he did. AJ almost lost it there. He's getting double teamed. Someone has to be open. And he finds it. It's Money Mitch. He's just missing these. He's going to hit one or two in this game. Right. Back climb. Gets a mid-range shot. That has to be three in a row, I'm pretty sure. He also might not have to hit him if Pat Klein's going to hit all the shots. Uh-oh, Mike's coming in. Hot, oh! Oh, that was a missed opportunity for the dogs. They had two La Familia members complaining about a non-call. So they had a five on three fast break and they th tossed the ball away. But look, look at the recovery. Instead of arguing about it, Mike just takes it and says, okay, look, that was my fault. Let's get back on defense. He's always been a good captain with that. Oh, Mike Parker. So good under the rim. 
And he's fast. Yep. Incredibly fast. Oof, good pass to Klein. Klein finds Mike. Mike passes to Money Mitch in the corner. That's his better side. He's eventually gonna hit him. He's been very close on two three-pointers so far. Right. I just think it was the other corner. He's more comfortable from that side, I feel like. Raylan going up with it. He can get that any time he wants. But the issue is if the other team's hitting three-pointers and he's getting little two-point layups. Right, it's, it's an issue. It, it's math. Pat Klein with a three. Air balls that one. Oh, mental mistake by Braylon right there. Just didn't see where the baseline was. Gave the ball right back. If this was a TV show, the next thing that probably happens is the dogs hit a three-pointer. <laughs> Right? Let's see if you're right here. Chef looking around. Nice spin move to get on the inside. Passes it to AJ. AJ goes up with it. Ah, two and pointer. connects. Still three points. Three, not three. Oh, my goodness. Foul on Perry? Franchise, maybe? Uh, foul for Perry. Pat Klein getting a well-deserved break man, right here. Carry. Let me open this up. I can't hear. <laughs> John misses the first. <laughs> That was a little late. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I understand the feeling. <laughs> John Carey, yeah. Mike's bringing up oh. the ball. Finds Former AJ Secretary of State John Carey. I don't know what he's Money doing in this Mitch. league. Ooh, Mitch in the corner. Mitch in the corner, but it doesn't... AJ doesn't want to pass it behind him with the double team. Got to the other corner. That's the thing. Mitch loves standing in tough spots. He does not right. like moving. He's, yeah, he's a catch and shoot kind of person. No. But there he is. But there he is on defense. Oh, but there's Mike Parker on defense. Moving fast with the ball, pulls up a midi. He doesn't get it. John Carey gets it back. Tips it to Mike Parker, and there's a hard foul. Oh, my goodness. You just can't hit a government official like that. That's, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Here's the issue that I see with La Familia so far in this first half. It's a lot of first possession shots, if that makes Like, no passes before any shots. Right. Like that relay passing we were talking about a couple games prior. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a lost art. Sometimes people just... Well, everybody they wants to get to their spot. Get to spot. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, but you know, they just want to get hot. But in the long run, it can bite you in the butt. You know, it looks great when it works, right? But it doesn't always work, and it's not always sound. But what you get is well, inbound, zero passes, one shot, right? And that was a deep three-point yeah. shot as well. Yeah, they don't need it. He can make them. He's one of the best players in the league. You don't need to do that. But they could get a better look than that. Good pass. And then while you're doing that, all right, let's see here. Yeah. Really coming down, going into the paint. Not a lot of people can contest that. He just jumps so high for them. Like, no one, who's, who's going to go up there with him? Maybe, maybe. Yep. AJ, maybe. Yep. But even then, like... Guys, he's, he's also pretty tall for his, for to have those bunnies as well. It's Braylon is excellent. He's, I think, inarguably one of the five best players in this league. But he could do that. Not right. everybody can. No. If Braylon was, if Braylon had his uh, head turned around, I probably could have picked that off. I'm oh, sorry about that. <laughs> It's 
dog's ball. Good cut. <laughs> he saw AJ calling for the play, calling for the play. He sees it. They got a layup. Oh, yeah. Here comes Parker, shoots a three, can't hit it. I have a question for you on that. Look, exactly how many passes were before that shot? One. Just the inbound. Just the inbound. How many passes were before Tone shot right there? About two, three. No, just the one oh, from the rebound. Oh, from the rebound? <laughs> that's it. That's it. Just that, one, that's one, it. Pass one pass and a shot. That's well, the third this, pass of this possession. Exactly. Now it didn't work, but like, but it just lets it, it's gonna it's gonna cause them to play better basketball. Honestly, you're gonna find the open shot doing that. Yeah, 1.9 seconds left if that clock is right. Like Basically, I said, like I said, if you start passing the ball off, you see heads turn and all and, and all the stuff like, or you make heads turn and whatnot, you make it harder on them. Well, that is the first half of the final game of the week, the hundredth game of the regular season. Here's a word from our sponsors. Whether we're shipping across the country to your home or delivering to your Walt Disney World Resort, Ash's Bake Shop is here to help with all of your cookie cravings. With over 100 million views across all platforms, Ash's Bake Shop's viral jumbo cookies have taken the world on by storm. Each cookie is hand-topped and comes in a variety of unique flavors that rotate each month. Along with cookies, we also offer brownies, blondies, and cookie cakes to help you celebrate any occasion. You can find us on all social media platforms at Ash's Bake Shop or head over to our website ashesbakeshop.com to learn how we can add a little extra sweetness to your day. And welcome back to the Dogs versus La Familia. Second half, dogs are up by seven trying to close out this week five game. Four, five, whatever week we're in. Sure. Week four, season five. Apologies. And uh, the hundredth game in Selly Nation League history. So this is a familiar place that the dogs have found themselves in. Up in the second half in a fairly close game. Is this the week that they can close it out and put a win on the board? Well, they can play like they've been playing and you know the coaching goes well, the ball movement goes well, the scoring stays the way that it's been, or you know, stays on pace as it's been going. I think that they can. The thing is, La Familia is playing pretty aggressive and I feel like if you play like that and you keep that pressure throughout the whole game, it could change things. It could swing it to your, moment, or to your way. Just look at that. Aggressive. Oh, but it looks like the dogs amped it up as well. No way. Is this going to be it? Raylan with a three-point shot. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but four passes into a three-pointer. That seems like offense. But you see they adjusted. You could, that's what I mean, like, you could still get the ball to your best player. And just like that, they're going to they're gonna negate that three-pointer. But you can get the ball to your best player while still moving the ball around, too, and moving the defense a bit. But if he hits this free throw here, then right away, that negates Basically, the three. Exactly. Got to be mindful when you're playing defense like that. Yeah. That's how you win a game, too. If you're the dogs, you just keep attacking. Right. They haven't stopped you in the paint the whole game, so why would you stop getting there? Braylon with the ball again, looking for another three. And this time it's a fadeaway. He's hot. Two in a row to start the second half. Mike trying to answer back, throws it up. Too much speed on that one. Here comes Horace. He finds Braylon for the dunk. Sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. Two point game. La Familia in the span of a minute and a half has totally changed the momentum of this game. It, it really did. Now it's only a two point game. Chef makes a very difficult mid range shot. Chef cooks up an answer though. Oh, yeah. oh. It was like an <laughs> Kick ball, but that was a smart play. Not letting that play come into fruition. But instead, they find Horace, who can't miss. Or can't hit. He did miss. Sounds AJ. smooth. Makes sense. Get the ball to AJ in transition. That's how you answer. No need to match him dunk for dunk or jump shot for jump shot. 
Mike came in with the steal. Oh, gives it right back. Just got a little over his skis there. And here comes Braylon. Probably a little too low into the basket. Yeah. Braylon's going to line Like See, I, I said, man, there's really not that many people who could, who could contest Braylon down there. No, I would say there's nobody. There. That's, again, arguably the best player in the league on any given day. Oh, yeah. I have no problem with the zero pass offense if it's in transition. Right. So that's when you can have a one man fast right. break. Right, but when you have five people, your whole team over here, you got to start moving the ball around, facilitate it a little bit. Yep. Well, we're cleaning up the court here. <laughs> you don't want players slipping and falling. No. Because if they do, they're going to have to call a mot law. In case of a slip and fall. Exactly. Yeah. Excellent. You don't want to break anybody's ankles. Good shot. Braylon hits the first. And I have no doubt that he might make the second. If anything, I probably jinxed it. Nah. But I did it. He looks like a basketball player. You know what I mean? Like, right, yeah. Certain people look like athletes. Certain people look like accountants. And they move like it, too. The way he moves, too. You can tell he's been playing for a long time. Oh, good Trying defense to do by too the much. Dog. Don't, No need to do that. Here comes Mike looking for the open man. Almost caused another turnover. I don't blame him though, man. Mike Parker's just so fast. Like, you don't see him coming. You really don't. I don't know. I, I think that was a little bit too forced. It's kind of like the world's reversed, you know? Now the dogs are getting one, you know, one pass off and then shooting a three. It is. Now the dogs are starting to play like that in the half right. court. Now. Good shot by Horace, by the way. You know who was the uh, the catalyst in that first half? Was Pat Klein, right? He was. Where is he? Donnie from the three-point line. I said he could hit those shots. You might. That's uh. It might not be their best offense, but if you're gonna let him walk into it, eventually he's gonna hit him. Braylon going up and in. Whatever whatever the all-time scoring record is, I bet Dom probably holds it for a game. I, I think Braylon probably could challenge that at any given time. You know, I agree. Pat Klein! Three-point shot looking through the scope. Here comes Mike Parker. Going up. Man, he's willing to put his body through anything. Yeah. Through contacts. It looked like he was about to hit the freaking... The bleachers right there. He didn't even care. I like that mindset, though. Attack the rim. So overall, I think the Platinum Player of the Week has a couple of, you know, quality uh, candidates here. From this game, though, clearly that's Braylon, right? And that's He'll be the nominee from game four unless something totally catastrophic happens the second half of the game. Be inclined to say he might be the overall Platinum Player of the, of the Week when this is all said and done. I agree. Yeah. And with that, our timeout read is coming from the Grooming Gallery. This is Orlando's premier barbershop where artistry meets grooming. Horace is a meticulous barber whose focus is on providing top-notch cuts and grooming services tailored to your style. Their brand new location in Hunters Creek is the perfect spot for your next haircut. So shoot them a DM at The Grooming Gallery to book an appointment. We have about 14 and change left in this game. Dogs are up by six. Uh, and we got the La Familia at the line. Very low foul game. Only three fouls between the two teams. You know what? That tends to happen when you hit jump shots. Right. That's, you know, that's not right. a lot of opportunity for it to... Uh, right. Not a lot of opportunity for players to rush into the paint and look for the foul. Yep. Mike Parker was... Can't hit the second. It was good on the first, though. So we got a five. Good ball movement by the dogs. 
The chef resets. Pat Klein hits the side of the backboard. And here comes the Do La Familia. Oh, almost got the team up. Those are back-to-back -back candidates for break of the game. Brought to you by yeah. saying the realtor. Oh, those are back to back to back candidates for brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. It's an actor that he fell, so that slip and fall brought to you by a mock law. Don't get hurt out here, guys. No. Everybody's too old for this. We will not recover the way we're used to. But if you do get hurt, you know who to call a mock law. And Ghostbusters. Oh, you're right. Quartz the phrase out there. Hey. <laughs> are they cheering on? Uh, oh, they're they are cheering on Nick coming Nick, out to yeah. mop up the court here. This is very much so like the SpongeBob episode where he's cleaning up the tomatoes <laughs> and they're cheering for SpongeBob, but yeah, yeah. not Squidward. <laughs> this is uh, this is good to see. This is his SpongeBob moment. <laughs> this is. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a really good comparison. And everyone's very appreciative. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> the mom, ball movement by the dogs. The chef looking to cook here, finds Mike in the corner, Mike pulls it. Oh, just missed it, but that's a great shot, you know, what do you... Yeah, I mean, what, what else do you want? That's what you want right there! Braylon Pickens has showed up in week four once again. Braylon is looking at the dog's bench every chance he gets to say, I am going for 50. And he stares at him straight down, there's no look away or anything, this guy is laser focused. Uh, if this was real-time betting, I think that he might be definitely a favorite to do it. Oh, they got Braylon right in the corner. Pulls another three. And he hits it! Braylon Pickens is hot! The dogs need a timeout. They the might dogs take, are in trouble! They might want to take back-to-back -back oh timeouts. Oh my goodness! They might want to take three straight timeouts. Oh my goodness! At this point, they might want to take Braylon out. I'm just going to go straight into oh, it. Dear we Lord. buy houses and mobile homes any type, any condition. No equity, no problem. We work fast, use cash, and no nonsense. Up to $1,000 if you refer a home that goes to closing. So speak to Josiah Kenyon. Give him a call at 407-735-6228. Oh my goodness. At this point, just call the fire department. You need to take him out somehow. Yeah, but yeah. Outside oh of kidnapping Braylon, I don't know how you defend him. I mean, that's... We do not advocate felony kidnapping, just for the record. 19 points in week three, and I don't even know how many he has now, but it has to be up there. I don't remember Sheesh. the last time somebody who wasn't Braylon scored. We'll put it that way. Wow, you're right. Not looking back at that. Eric, are you keeping the uh, stats? How, how many, many points? Have? 30. <laughs> He's got 30 points 30 with 12 points. minutes left in this game, so... Uh, that promise of 50 might not be too far off. Sorry, I just blew your guys' eardrum out. That's just crazy. And La Familia has 57 points, so you might know 30 is more than half of 57. Sheesh. Now you keep putting it in perspective, and it just gets even more impressive. Yeah, now if you're the dogs, this is where you need your captain, Mike, and your best player, AJ, to step up. To and step up and do things just like that. Good play by the dogs. They have won three straight championships off of the back of making smart plays at the end of games. Another three for La Familia, but it's off. And here comes here AJ. Comes AJ. Oh! And just like that, the Dude, dogs one of the are back best up. Ball, handle, ball handling in the league, man. I'm telling you. More so than anything, what has happened the last three uh -oh. seasons? The dogs are starting to bring the pressure and cause turnovers, but so is La Familia. So as I was saying, what's happened the last three seasons, more so than anything, I don't even think there's some of the years that the dogs had the most talented team. But at the end of the game, if they kept it close, they had the most composed team. Right. So that's why I think it's very bizarre to see them not close games well to start this season. 
but what they've done well is they've gone to Mike, they've gone to AJ, they've been able to close games, and they're just yeah. out-experienced teams. They're, they are spreading the ball out, which is good. Everybody's getting points. Everybody's starting to play and heat up. Now they just need to keep that pressure that they're keeping right now. Just they, they be smart. Two turns. The important thing to remember is you don't have to match Braylon shot for shot. You right. don't have to shoot threes if he's hitting threes. Right. You take a possession. At, yeah, take it a possession at a time. And you're winning. Exactly. Not they by have, much, but... No, but they have to keep scoring with you, not the other way around. Exactly. So play your game that got you to the lead that you've had. Donnie couldn't hit that. That, that was an off-balance one. I saw it. It's because he didn't put his hand behind his head. He usually <laughs> hits the layups once his hand is doing the Heisman or the... Uh, <laughs> Whatever it is, not the Heisman. Oh, the, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh! They called that a foul at the three-point line, and that's how dangerous he is. That's how close you got to play. Yep. And if you don't, he's either going to hit it or you're going to hit him. <laughs> Man. He's def. I, I think he's gonna be the platinum player. Brought to you by Chris Scalco. Yeah. Definitely. I, I, <laughs> Definitely I, I, I think at case. this juncture, it's fair to award it without a committee meeting. <laughs> Win or lose, that's uh, you put up this kind of performance. Thirty-one right now. Yeah. Thir yeah, thirty-one right now. Nine more minutes. A little over nine minutes left in the game. Yep. <laughs> It's only a one point game though. You have 32 points and they're only up one. Still plenty of time for the dogs to do their thing. Nice inside out dribble. Try to get some space. Shepard's slowing the ball down, but you can't you can't get that double team on you. You gotta start passing it, make a play. And there it is. Oh, Mike with a great pass. That's the assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. And that's what Mike is really good at, yep. facilitating, finding the open man. That was a quick pass. It's great. If you go to Lakeside, shout out Lakeside, if you go out to just about any park and franchise is playing, he's usually the focal point of his team's offense. He has no problem, since he was a young lad, taking all the shots in a game. Right. He gets in organized basketball. He knows what it takes to win. He'll make the smart pass. Right. That led to a wide open three and a two-point lead. And on the podcast, they were talking about unselfish basketball. Look at and, this. Oh, my goodness. Talk about selfish basketball. Braylon's taking all the shots, making all the points. He deserves all those points. Wow. There's sometimes you look at it and you go, all right, you got it. That's fine. <laughs> that's, that's all good. This guy's legit. I, I, dude, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a scout here and saw him decide to pick him up right now. Oh, he's got a YouTube highlight tape somewhere. Go find it. There he goes. Buries it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the over that he scores for 40 points. Well, today. it's at 35, so you're a safe better. But there's AJ. Look at that. Oh, AJ. This is a game, ladies and gentlemen. This is a game. When in doubt, go to your best, most experienced players. That's that. The dogs are showing that this is a team that does not want to lose right now. They're staying in this as much as they can. And here's SpongeBob moment again. What do you think it's going to take for the dogs to just pull away with it to get the win? Uh, to pull away with it, prayer. But to win the game, <laughs> just keep executing. That's. I don't think that's what Ashley wanted. <laughs> a prayer. <laughs> Honestly, I think they just need to stick to what they're doing. They're doing good. Play good defense. They make it into a tied game here. Uh, oh, actually, I'm, I'm wrong. Two possession game now. Or one possession game. Trying to keep up here with the action. A lot of good passing. Braylon trying to go up with it. And La Familia eventually puts it in. Former Secretary of State coming through clutch. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, good steal from John Carey. Wow, that was a little scramble for the ball. Oh, good defensive play by the chef. He finds Pat Klein, and that's a decline on the shot. 
It was just too close of a shot. Pass a three-point shooter. Braylon couldn't hit there. Mike didn't hear. Mike didn't hear a whistle, so he's just gonna keep playing it. As exactly. You That's what you do. There's a classic saying that we say in football, but works in basketball too. Offense doesn't wait for defense. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Hundred percent point there. I was wondering what was bothering me in my pocket. There's two halls that I had in there. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is that? It's All debatable, right, but better. this is the most three in the keys that have ever been called in a day. In any level of basketball across any continent. Couldn't <laughs> <laughs> mm, get that from the roll inside. It is a tied game here, 64-64 with... A little over five minutes left in the game. Anybody's ball game here. The good thing is, we buy houses. Actually, no, the good thing is, we have one hop to shop. This is the official home of the Sully Nation League merchandise. This week, they had the first drop of their official season five merchandise. This week, they had the first drop or, so you know, I'm so sorry, I butchered this. Anyway, just contact the Sully Nation League on Instagram to place your order. We'll fix it in post. Oh, yeah, please. I've been doing this all game, so. Oh, right here? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I butchered that one, but it's all good. Four, calling four games in a row is... That'll do it to you. Oh, well, yeah, you <laughs> Take some energy out of you, especially if you've been screaming the way I am. Five and a half minutes left. We got a tie ball game here. This is. I kind of feel bad. I did like a mental juke on on Ash. I said we buy houses, but no, we're hopping to a one hop shop. It's because I read that one last. We buy hops from the grooming gallery. You know what? We buy houses, one hop to shop, and we also go to the grooming gallery. Good shot from Chef, but couldn't connect. Franchise got a little too aggressive on that one. Ended up, ended up in a bear hug. Mike is complaining that they should just go ahead and let it play. But there was a there was a reach in there. Mike Parker good for the first. That's so key, hitting the front end of the one-on-one. -on -one. Like, you obviously want to hit both, but right. missing the first one is a uh, backbreaker sometimes for a team. Right. You can live with that one. Jeff looking for Mike. Mike finds Pat Klein. Klein back to Mike. Mike can't finish that when they fight for the rebound. Oh, they double team Barry. Oh, wow. John Carey with the layup. Let's go, dogs. Looks like the dogs need to Come slow on, it down Keep here. It need to slow it down here. John Carey with the three. Can't hit. Oh, and it's, it's La Familia with the rebound. This is what I was talking about. Not really playing composed in a close game late. This is... Oh, he's dancing on him. Wasn't successful, but that was the brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. The brick of the day should be given to whoever encouraged that moment. Oh, oh. good pass. That's the assist of the day. Brought to you by We Buy Houses. Oh, oh my he might have missed that shot, but he came down after that amazing assist, and he's cooking up a stew here. Oh, yeah. 69-64, 33 left on the clock. There's three and a half minutes left in this game. It's only a five-point game. You're going through a little right, but you have the ball. One shot makes it a one-possession game. Right. If you're the dogs, that's what you're saying. One good offensive possession, one good defensive possession, exactly. and it is still right there in one, front of you. One good possession at a time, and with that... We have the Grooming Gallery. This is Orlando's premier barber shop where artistry meets grooming. Horace is a meticulous barber who focuses 
in improvising on t or in providing top top notch cuts and grooming services tailored to your style. Their brand new location in Hunters Creek is the perfect spot for your next haircut. So shoot them a DM at the Grooming Gallery to book an appointment. Man, I'm butchering all of you right now. Hey, you're good. As long as it's the last game I'm butchering these in right now because yeah, it's not it's not the hundredth it's not the hundredth game ever or anything like that. So good thing there's no historical significance to this. No. Let's go, Don. Pass it to Don McLovin. Hey, Can't get look. in. But he's going to the line for two. That's all that matters. Play aggressive, like you said, one possession at a time. Now focus on these free throws. The thing about basketball is it is impossible to score five points in one possession. That's true. Though, you can't chip into the lead if you don't uh, hit the free throws. Right. There you go. One for two. Again, still, four-point game. Three-point game. Right? Yeah. I could have swore they were just down five. There we go. So it's a correction. Yep, four point game. First shot going. It's all right, though. Focus here. Try to hit your second. But she does. Dogs on by five. What's going on there? Okay, they there's a foul, foul somewhere there. in there. Looked nope. like when he was trying to pass out, someone swatted. AJ pulls a step back three, something you don't want to see here. Oh, good block. Good block by Pat Klein. Is there a block in it? Oh, no. That was a good block. That was a great block. Nice getting back. Now they got scored here. They got slowed down. Chef going up and in, just can't make it. It's too, it's too fast. And that was a strong rebound, too. La Familia trying to shoot clock here. Oh. The dog's starting to play a little bit desperate now. That's right. You have to, though. And they need to. Now they're, now they're going to need help. Now you need them to miss some shots. And that's help. Missing the front end of a one-on-one -on -one is help. Oh, they hit him in the lane, too. Oh. Turnover's late. Braylon can't hit there. Oh, here comes AJ. He knows that he has to score here. He can't get it. They're just empty possessions after empty possessions. And that's the, what's really hurting the dogs. The uh, Braylon did not like the timeout from his own team. While we have a minute left in the 100th regular season game ever, I'd like to give a shout out to the greatest team in the history of the Sally Nation League, season one green team champions. <laughs> we had Marcus Santiago, we had Gator, we had Dean, MVP Chris Williams, we had me, BDM, Julie, Dante, Chili. For my money, best team ever. So on this 100th game, just a reminder, that's the gold standard of this league. And it also bred two captains in Dean and Gator, so that coaching tree is going strong right now. So good job, me. Dean doing a really good job with the Goblins, and as we saw today, the Magicians got back in line. Oh, 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 how can I forget? We had Mo too. Mm. Mid-season Mo, the addition, is just, he's a winner.
traded Jeremy for Mo. I, I apologize, Mo. Shout out to season one's green team champions. Wasn't going to not get that one in there after four games. <laughs> All right, so if you're La Familia, look, it becomes a game of keep away for a minute. Right. Inbound, they're going to try to foul right away. They should try to foul right away. But instead hey, they get go! the steal, and there goes the chef. <laughs> it go, makes this a three-point game with 50 seconds left on the clock. They probably fouled right away. Oh, they fouled him right away. That shot won't count those on the ground. Right. Come on, Doug. And now we're at the point where there's so many fouls. They're in the double bonus. Braylon gets two shots, so that's like important to remember. So, there you go. Missing the front end doesn't kill him, though. With that one. He still has another one. Right. That would have been a live ball. 47 seconds left. Dogs have one timeout to play with, too, so they're not totally out of totally it yet. Totally out of it, no, but they got to score quick. Not that quick, though. You don't want to make a turnover happen AJ out of it. AJ lost the ball, unfortunately. Yeah, was, honestly, Braylon's just feeling it today. Try oh. doing too much. That's all it is. Everybody at the end of the game tries doing so much, and good execution by La Familia, but... Chef! Chef! Oh, right back to John Cherry, man. La Familia's ball movement and and, and the way that they, they just take it down court is just incredible. AJ for three, bangs it in. Eight seconds left. It's, a, it's, it's a little too late. It's a little too late, though. Uh, correction, 11 seconds. There's a little discrepancy going on with what the time may really be, but it was confirmed that it's 11 seconds. It's about 11 seconds left in the game right now. Here's my big thing. Maybe the clock didn't go, maybe whoever, but it's the execution to get to that point. You shouldn't be complaining about time at this point. You gave up the lead at this, at this juncture. Right, right, right. You know. It's easy to say, well, what if we had a miracle for time, but... What is or what is? If ifs and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. You know who's another loser of this day, unfortunately? <laughs> Ashley, because she has to live with this. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. <laughs> Braylon, how many points does he have? How many points does he have there? So here we are, signing off from the 100th regular season game and completing week four of Selling Nation League. We'll see you next week. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys.